Welcome back everyone to the Wondershare Dr. Phone channel. My name is Francisco and we all know at this point that iOS 18 introduced far too many bugs to lots of iPhones across the world. While most people do have a solid experience with little to no bugs, there are still lots of people that have to deal with a lot of unfortunate bugs every day. And two that come to mind are the random app crashes and the camera app bugs that have been plaguing some. So in today's video, we will talk about what could be causing these app crashes, how to fix the app crashing issue, and how to get around the camera app bugs. So please make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for these helpful tips. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Part 1. What's causing app crashing and camera app bugs? Let's talk about the reasons why apps could be crashing on your iOS 18 device. There are lots of things that could be causing this, so let's make sure that we cover everything. Compatibility issues. Some apps may not yet be fully optimized for iOS 18 and especially if the update introduced changes to system frameworks. Developers may need to release updates to address these incompatibilities. Memory or storage constraints. Limited RAM or low device storage can lead to performance issues and crashes. Closing background apps and freeing up storage space can sometimes help stabilize the device. Corrupt app data or cache. Outdated or corrupt app data can cause instability. Reinstalling the problematic app can often resolve these issues. Apps that rely heavily on internet connectivity may crash if the network connection is unstable or if the app faces issues syncing with servers. iOS bugs and system glitches. Occasionally, bugs within the iOS version itself, especially during early releases can cause apps to crash. Restarting the phone, updating iOS to the latest patch, or even downgrading to an earlier version can sometimes resolve the problem. Developers and users reported cases where third-party crash reporting tools or unhandled exceptions in the code led to app failures under iOS 18, pointing to underlying framework changes by Apple. And then we've got photo app bugs. These are specific to the iPhone's camera app, and these bugs have been frustrating to deal with for some. We have photos being taken that come out looking completely blank or without an actual image. Sometimes when zooming in and out, the camera app will crash and attempting to process this, and others are experiencing their photos and videos not actually saving onto their device. Part 2. How to fix apps crashing in iOS 18. As our primary solution, we have Wondershare Dr. Phone, which is an innovative software that addresses various iOS 18 issues without affecting your phone content. This tool is a lifesaver, especially if your phone is facing critical iOS errors. Such issues can cause a lot of problems, including the constant iPhone app crashing after iOS 18 update. Moreover, it offers an intuitive interface, making tool navigation seamless and requiring zero technical skills. How this works is that this will allow you to to reinstall iOS onto your device, allowing you to refresh your device without deleting any of your data. After a reinstall of iOS 18 onto your device, you should be able to check if the bugs disappeared. Usually bugs crop up upon initial installation or after a small update, and it doesn't affect every single user. This is how a refresh or a quick reinstall can help remove these bugs for you. Now let's explore the steps to solve the device crashing with many different apps after iOS 18 using the standard mode of Wondershare. Dr. Phone. Download the latest version of Wondershare Dr. Phone on your computer and to launch the application after installing it. Navigate to the Toolbox tab in the top left corner of the screen and select System Repair. After connecting your iOS 18 device through an Apple certified USB cable, select iPhone as a device type on the computer to proceed. The next window will prompt you to choose the repair mode for your iOS device. Since we want to retain data during the process, select Standard Repair from the two available options. For the next step, you'll need to put your iOS device into recovery mode. So just follow the on-screen instructions and click Enter Recovery Mode to activate the mode. Once your device is in recovery mode, the platform will automatically detect the respective iOS firmware that can be installed in your device. Click download next to the iOS firmware that you wish to install. The download will begin automatically, and once it's completed, the platform will verify the firmware before making it available to update your iOS device. Then click repair now to start the process. A progress bar will appear, showing the completion status. Once the progress bar reaches completion, the next screen will confirm that the process is done. Press the Done button to conclude the repair and start using your iOS device as normal. Part 3. 
How to get around camera app bugs. The system repair module in Dr. Phone should have already addressed the issues with the camera app as it allowed you to refresh the OS on your iPhone, likely ironing things out. But in case you still happen to be experiencing issues with the app or just don't want to go that far to be able to use your camera app, we've got some alternatives for free apps that you can use that are arguably better than the stock camera app for multiple reasons. Number one, VSCO. This app is popular for its filters and minimalistic camera interface. While it emphasizes photo editing, it also has a capable camera that allows users to control focus and exposure manually. Adobe Lightroom Mobile. Known primarily as a powerful editor, Lightroom also offers a solid camera function. It supports shooting in RAW in manual settings, perfect for users who want flexibility without switching to paid apps. Obscura. This app provides an easy-to-use interface with essential camera controls. It's ideal for beginners who want to access features like RAW shooting, exposure control, and portrait mode without being overwhelmed by complex layout. Moment Camera App. While it closely resembles Apple's native app, Moment offers a bit more in terms of manual controls like ISO, shutter speed, and a histogram display. It's straightforward and offers good flexibility for everyday use. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way up to the very end. Let us know in the comments if the solution worked for you, and if it hasn't, then tell us which phone breaking bugs you've been encountering and include any of your questions down below as well. Like our video if you liked it, and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on when a new video comes out. Until next time, have a great day.